Hi guys, welcome to this short video about what I recommend to buy as a camera if you're expecting a large storm, hurricane, torna tornado, uh, anything else like a large thunderstorm or blizzard, no matter what it is, what's uh, my recommendation for a camera which is good and recording a lot and uh, so I have a lot of experience with hurricanes, a lot of experience with uh, outdoor or indoor cameras and so this is my recommendation. Uh, so we have this normal camera which I'm using outside, like surveillance camera system. Yeah, it's doing a good job, but it's not suitable yeah, because it's, it's powered from normal power. And if you have power outage, so it's not recording anything. And we don't have any kind of time lapse. We don't have special recording and those things. So it's not suitable for that. So how about normal battery operated security cameras, like uh, all the things on the Cloud Edge, YX, Wind, Sumi Moles, NBs, IE Geeks, and these things, they are doing a great job. They are independent, waterproof, and those things, but can we uh, use that for recording a storm? No, it's not working because it has PIR, passive infrared recording. It won't catch anything, not even if a tree is falling right in front of such a cameras, when uh, like chairs are flying around uh, yeah it, it, it's not catching anything as long as temperature is the same of the objects and the thing behind it won't catch anything so total useless nice cameras as a normal surveillance camera system it do, does a good job but it's not suitable for storms so what else do we have i mean most of the cameras which i have i have about 20 cameras uh, but most of them are uh, either in one of these two uh, categories uh, but there's something really special and these are the Vice cameras and they are already doing a great job as normal surveillance cameras I have three types I have the Vice Cam Pan two time I have the normal Vice Cam V2 uh, which is I mean these cameras are inside cameras they are not outside cameras they have motion detection they are not PIR uh, they are USB cable powered I mean USB powered and I have the Vice Cam outdoor and so I have been using both of them during the last hurricane uh, which we had about 10 days ago and both of the cameras have been doing a good job so these are actually the cameras which I recommend I'm going to show you that here it's the Vice Cam outdoor yeah, so here we are connected now, online live streaming. We can go to the album where we find all the downloaded things or everything. And uh, here we have the time lapse. We have two of them. The one which I have already downloaded from the Hurricane. And uh, yeah, it should be playing soon. Yeah, here we see that. And I have the impression that the quality is better than with the old Vice Cam V2 the indoor the only problem is of course we have some rain on the lens especially during the night but you can see the really positive thing here is we have illumination during the night I mean as soon as the water drop will disappear from the lens we can see we have a picture during the night which we won't have when we are recording with infrared from the inside it's not possible we can only do this outside so it's a huge thing here that we have 24 7 recording you can see there's no interruption and in general I think the quality is definitely better than uh, with device cam v2 from the inside that's just the problem with uh, like a uh, water or snow maybe if you are using like a v2 inside yeah of course there should be less obstacles uh, in front of the camera of course but we cannot use the infrared so at the end i'm very happy with that yeah, and regarding the quality I'm, I'm happy with it i mean it is what it is battery operated camera it's not uh, like a 4k camera it's 1080p as good as it gets uh, it looks very good on the phone uh, it doesn't look so good anymore uh, if you are watching it on your PC as well, but for me it definitely works. So let's go back to the Vicecam V2 and see what we got here during this time. You can also do like time lapse and everything and have this album here. 
and we can see it should actually be here and you can see it's a similar thing uh, we have the time lapse here from November 11th and it has been doing also a good job it was even a little bit protected through the window so it has been uh, yeah ha it has had a little bit a better uh, image during the day but during the night you can see apart from the solar light and the street light there's nothing so if you have power outage here there's nothing to see outside because you cannot use the infrared i mean i'm not talking about passive inf infrared it's uh, active infrared it would have such a thing but it doesn't help when you have to work through a window it, it, it's just not working everything would be just white it would be mirroring so apart from that it has been doing good job i'm happy with that also nice time lapse really helpful i mean we didn't have like total devastation but it, it, it's still a nice time document for me what we have also that's not everything here we have also more here of course we have also these events here and when we go to november 11 we can see we have the whole day full of footage started early in the morning i think around six or seven o'clock in the morning with the first gusts and so on and it uh, most of it is from the device cam uh, v2 uh, here that's called device cam 3 it has nothing to do with the v3 it's a v2 so uh, we had a couple of motion recordings you can see here a lot if you think that's just from moving parts here uh, yeah it's not really the case yeah, you can see the recording of course was triggered by moving uh, branches here yeah, that was not so much here of course it was early morning when, when we go to the afternoon it's much more but still not crazy but you can see these things here we have when you look at the right side here with the time you can see 437 442 448 455 what does it mean yeah uh, was that just by chance every five minutes uh, moving parts no it's not of course it's just because the free cloud with the from the vice cam is just covering one footage every five minutes so what you have to do is you have to optimize your picture you have to optimize you can do that you when you go to the setting of the camera you can exclude like areas where you have moving branches and leaves and these things uh, so make sure that you optimize that before a storm arrives and then you will have the real footage i mean then when a tree is falling like chairs are flying around then you will have only these clips here and not everything like every five minutes when it just keeps shaking the uh, branches and leaves so which i had I, I forgot a little bit to optimize and exclude these areas but i have could have done a much better job here and uh, during the night uh, that's really interesting of course it hasn't been catching uh, everything with light like lightning or when a, a tree was falling on a power line like here so you can see there was really something huge i mean not just like normal small lightning i think that was probably really a tree hitting a power line massive thing and then like transformer exploding or yeah it was uh, really crazy but you can see at least you have it in the cloud what happens uh, when the storm is really hard and we have power outage yeah i mean with the vice cam auto we have the battery uh, yeah it's covering everything it, it won't have any outage here with the vice cam v3 we have to make sure that we are on power especially with the time lapse when we want to have also a time lapse here this device can be two uh, we can use uh, like a power bank and uh, so we can when we have a good quality uh, power bank uh, which i will show you then uh, i will put down the link uh, by the way to all these things into the description so you can uh, check them out like device cam v2 device cam outdoor and good power bank but you can use pass through charging so you know it's always fully charged and when the power outage hits it will keep recording like the device can be two which is not battery operated but it will keep recording because it uses usb power and when you have it on a power bank with pass through charging it's always charged and it will record for a couple of hours till power will be back hopefully
so these are the things and uh, yeah they have been doing a good job for me of course i like also the normal normal surveillance camera system outside it has been recording because we didn't have power outage it has been recording 24 7 and i will create a time lapse as a time document and i will put it also online but it's nothing crazy if you have had a power outage yeah it would have been gone everything uh, nothing to see so make sure that you are using device cam outdoor or device cam v v2 or 3 uh, battery buff buffered so we'll have everything you have nice time lapse you have 24 7 recording i mean device cam v2 has a 24 7 recording and no matter if you have power outage no internet it will record 24 7 if you miss something like if it doesn't catch the falling tree you will have it you won't miss that that's the good thing here so for me yeah these are the cameras to go if you're expecting something crazy yeah again i'll put down all the links into the description check them out and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time